Alright, in today's video we're going to be talking about who could see snowfall in this December. Now before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. And I'd also highly recommend that you check out our very exciting store in the description and the pinned comment down below and also our very awesome Patreon page that you can check out right now. We just made a post about an upcoming potential Southeast snow event that's coming up in just a couple of days. So I highly recommend you check that out. It's only a couple of bucks and you can always cancel if you feel like you want to. Now for today's comment of the day, I want to know. Have you seen any snowfall so far this December? If you have, let me know. And if you haven't, let me know if you think you will. And I'll be picking one of those comments for tomorrow's comment of the day. Anyway, let's get right into it. And first things first, we're taking a look at our first layer. And this is the area that will get snow. So if you're in this region, congratulations. You will likely get snow throughout some point of the winter. All right, now let's also take a look at the areas that we'll see snowfall before January, which is happens to be December or any of the months before that. And basically anywhere in this light blue region does anticipate to see snowfall before the end of December. So basically, you know, anytime in August, September, October, November, or December. So most of these regions actually will might will likely see it in December, not November, not October. Very, very interesting stuff. So if you are in this region, you do anticipate to see snowfall before January. What we're going to do is we're actually going to move on. And we're going to move on and take a look at an area that will get snow before mid-December. So that's the area that's anticipating to see snowfall before December 15th. We'll take a look at that. Uh, we'll even move on to some other uh, time frames. And then we're going to take a look at modeled guidance for the amount of snowfall we will see throughout the rest of December. We're going to take a look at our official snowfall anomalies forecast for this month. All sorts of exciting stuff coming up. All right, now this next layer is the area that anticipates to see their first snowfall before mid-December. So very, very interesting here. Uh, we see areas from the Pacific Northwest down through California, a lot of the, well, actually all of the Rockies, matter of fact, uh, and even a lot of the Northeast, a lot of those regions just saw snowfall up there in New England, a ton of it actually. I've, I've already read that there's been many, many reports of over a foot of snow before 7 p.m. last night. So I'm, in, I'm expecting a lot of, uh, large amounts of reports of snowfall coming out of there. Uh, basically, these medium blue areas, you will get snowfall before mid-December. So that means any time between the 1st and the 15th of December or earlier than the 1st of December. So you could have seen snowfall, like if you're in northern Montana, probably early September is when you expect to see your first snowfall. Um, now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to move on and we're going to take a look at the areas that have seen snowfall before December just to get that out of the way. And then also we're going to take a look at that week European weeklies model. Um, the, it's expected snowfall through the end of December just to see how much it's actually forecasting to fall between now and then. All right, so here we are taking a look at the areas that will get snow before December. And as you can see, a lot of these regions in this deeper blue have probably already seen their snowfall before the 1st of December even came around. Let me know if this is accurate. This is just based on your averages, you know, your long, long, long-term averages. So this is going to differentiate a lot, actually, what happens. What actually happens will be different, but this is just your average expected snowfall date. So let me know if you have seen your first snowfall before December in this deeper blue region. Let me know if you haven't. If you are in that region or outside of that region, just let me know overall what you think of that map. Uh, now, here is that European Weekly's 32-day snowfall forecast. And keep in mind, this is an ensemble model, so it's very low resolution. Uh, but this goes all the way out, actually, out to the 4th of January. Uh, and as you can see, a lot of those regions that do expect to see their first snowfall before January are expected to get their first snowfall, or at least get snowfall. They might have already seen their first snowfall before January, according to this model. So this is how much snowfall this model expects you to get. It's an ensemble model, very low resolution. Uh, and quite quite frankly, I don't know how accurate it really is. Uh, it would be very tough for a model like this to, to nail a forecast. The one thing you wanna pay attention to is if it's showing you getting snowfall, that's interesting and pay attention. Um, but really it seems to just be going really just based off of averages in my opinion. Uh, not really much of a forecast there. 
What we're going to do is we are going to move on. That was just kind of for fun. I, I don't, again, I don't really think that's very accurate. A 768 hour forecast. I don't really know uh, if that will pan out necessarily. What we're going to do is we're going to recap our December forecast, our precipitation and temperature forecast in just a moment. And then we're going to present our actual snowfall anomalies forecast, which we only had previously released to our Patreon patrons so if you do want to get exclusive content you can join the patreon that's where you can get that uh, but we're going to be releasing it to the public today again we're going to be recapping that december forecast in just a moment all right now an important factor for snowfall is obviously the precipitation and the temperature forecast so here's our precipitation forecast for December as a recap, just to kind of give you guys a little brief overview of what we were forecasting. Maybe you haven't seen that forecast. Maybe you have, but you've forgotten. There's many reason, reasons why I'm showing this. Uh, the Pacific Northwest should get slightly above average precipitation. The Southwest should be quite dry, and that should extend all the way up through the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest portions of the plains as well. Notice the East Coast is in the above average precipitation region, uh, and you might also Take note that it has been so far. There's been many storms that have come through this area, including our one we just had that was very major. So yeah, I actually am very happy with that forecast so far. Here's our temperature forecast. And as you can see, the southwest is expected to be above average temperatures. And the southeast, up all the way through the northeast, is expected to be below average temperatures. So far, this has been quite accurate as well with equal chances in between, meaning it can basically swing either way up there for the north central United States. There was a lot of um, questions for, from my end, I guess, just based on what I was getting as far as data as to what's going to happen for the plains in the upper Midwest, so much so that I wasn't really feeling confident enough to really make any call for you guys. That's why you're in the equal chances. I really feel like it could swing either way. Uh, and my through six days into December, my opinion has not really changed on that whatsoever as well. Uh, so really, uh, this could be an interesting month for the eastern United States. We really could get a lot of snowfall throughout a lot of these regions, and it could be one of the coldest and snowiest months of the winter if we see more warm throughout January and February. This could be the best opportunity for cold and snow that the east is going to have throughout the rest of the winter. So we have to have our fingers crossed for us snow lovers uh, that we do get some snowfall events that come through. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to release that snowfall anomaly forecast that probably all of you have been waiting for. Um, so we're going to take a look at that in just a moment where we can see if you're expected to see below average snowfall or above average snowfall. All right. So what you're going to want to do is remember those numbers of when we expect to see you get your, you know, your snowfall. If you're in the below average column, it could be a bit later. If you're in the above average column, it could be a bit earlier. Uh, so keep that in mind as we move forward. Overall, for the southwest, there's going to be a dome of below average snowfall, I believe. And I, I really feel like that I'm confident in that with the below average uh, precipitation, the above average temperatures. That's basically the two things that would definitely lead me to believe we're going to have below average snowfall. So I'm quite confident in that. Throughout a lot of the Gulf states in the East Coast, I'm expecting above average snowfall. With the below average temperatures and the above average precipitation, it makes a lot of sense that we're going to have above average snowfall. The one thing to note is that this doesn't mean necessarily above average amounts of snowfall, but mostly above average chances of snowfall. Because if things don't time up properly, we could have a really good look for snowfall, but if they don't time up properly, we could get none. Uh, but we will have mostly above average chances of snowfall I would say all right and we even have a moderate shade here where I'm even more confident we will have above average snowfall and that's going to be basically from the Carolinas all the way up through New England again same thing goes above average chance of snowfall not necessarily above amounts of above average amounts of snowfall uh, and already for New England this is looking to be well on track as you guys have already pretty much hit your average most of you guys for the month of December and we're on the sixth day. So as long as you guys get a little bit more snow, we will pretty much have above average snowfall for you guys based on the fact that we just had a major, major snow snowstorm. For the more southern regions in that deeper blue region, we're going to have to wait and see. Really, we're going to have to see if we can get some nor'easters to set up. The storm track is going to be there. Will the cold come down? A lot of these regions in the southern uh, portions of this look to possibly get snowfall. Again, on that Patreon post I'm going to make, uh, we're going to be talking about that. You can always join. Uh, it's only a few bucks. Now, anyway, we're going to just close out the video. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be doing these pretty much every month, even for January, February, and March. 
Uh, and next winter, I expect to do the same thing. It's been a hit with you guys, and I think it's very informative. So uh, let me know if you enjoy these videos. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, since we just had our major snowstorm, when do you expect the next one? And Golden Zone said, I'm thinking maybe the next snowstorm could be from the 12th to the 16th. Uh, that's a very interesting and very specific time frame there, so we will wait and see. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our diamond patrons, Michael Codalesa, Alicia Davis, Marcus Conley, Catbite, Alan Sherry, Terry Curtis, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Bill Roberts, Kellen Manhart, Michael Buell, Mariah Vieira, Noah Harley, and Mark J. Alongside our platinum patrons, Adam S., John Bembenek, Justin Quantrell, Donna Carnes, Alan Belemo, Larry LaPan, Dovey Nagel, James Wade, and Cameron Marshall. If you would like to be on this patron end screen, you can do so by joining our Patreon in the description and the pinned comment down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.